Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just got home from SM uh, because I watched the movie Spider-Man from home. magbibigay ng Sunday sa amin. Hi naman kayo, sir. Hello. Ayan. Nag-aaral pa kayo? Ah, senior high school. Uh, thank you so much. Ang gwapo mo, kuya. Ang gwapo ni kuya, tingnan mo. Famous lagi po yung kuya. Kuya, mag-subscribe naman kay Orange Shirt. Thank you so much. Shout out po kay Raymart Robles. Hi, Raymart. Jane Well, hi. At saka si ano? Johnny, Johnny. Shout out sa tatlong crew ng McDonald's na sobrang bait. Sobrang bait. Ayan to no. Thank you so much. Ayan, so uwi na tayo. Denard, ano pa lang ang masasabi mo sa thank you, you're welcome. Ano masasabi mo sa pinanood natin? Grabe, ang sakit pa lang maloko. <laughs> Kasi guys, kung mapapanood yung Spider-Man, grabe, parang ang hirap nang magtiwala. Yun yung, ayun yung learn dun eh, no? Yung pagtitiwala, yung, 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 yung nagtiwala ka sa isang tao tapos, ano, sinira pa. Tama. Alam mo yun din yung parang natutunan ko talaga sa Spider-Man. <laughs> Kailangan ng matibay na pundasyon bago ka magtiwala mo na. Bago may pagkatiwala lahat, di ba? Ikaw naman ni Lisa. Wala, ang sarap ng libro rin ako. Anong natutunan mo sa Spider-Man? Natutunan? Siguro wag magtiwala masyado sa mga mata. Oh, may hugot si ni Lisa. Ni Lisa, may boyfriend ka na? Wala po kasi. Ang ganda na ni Lisa sa personal. Oh! Ayan, we Leonard and Delisa, thank you so much. Siyempre, thank you talaga kay Ma'am Charmaine, di ba? Ma'am Charmaine. Ayan, Andrea. Ayan, saan ba kayo uuwi pala? O sige, sa'yo na nga to. Bakit mo niyo naman? Sige, guys, nandito na kami sa labas and update na lang kami. Mag-update na lang kami pag naka-uwi na. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Orange. Leonard po. Leonard po. And don't forget to subscribe, Orange Orang. Thank you so much. Manag kayo na Spider-Man. Far, far, far from home. Ang magandang angas talaga. Yan, maangas. Sulit sa budget. Yes. 2.16. Hindi ko nga malahin na. Kala ko, ano eh. Kala ko 6 pa lang yung pala 7 na. Kasi 5 kami nagsimula tas yung 7 na. Bye! First, I want to thank Ms. Charmaine. Very generous and kind friend. Thank you so much for the treat, and uh, I really appreciate it. Also, I had fun with uh, Leonard. Please subscribe on his YouTube channel. Um, he is a good kid, and also, um, congratulations again, Nelisa, for winning one of the tickets in Spider. Uh, what's the reason why we're here? Simply because I want to share with you the ten things I've learned from the movie. Okay, so let's start. Number one that I learned from the movie is you have to realize the potential that other people see in you. Just like Tony Stark saw the potential of Peter to be one of the members of the Avengers, right? How are you going to realize it? Because potential, it is just a potential. It doesn't fully exist in you right for the students of course when the teacher tells you I'm seeing that there is a chance for you to be like this because they've seen potential in you based on your actions so all you have to do is to realize it believe in yourself um, undergo certain experiences no for you to have it and eventually it will become your strength right okay? 
So I hope I'm making sense. The second lesson is don't try so hard to be exactly just like someone else because you are unique in your own way. For me, this is this is my own opinion. This is just based based on what I understood from the movie because Peter really wanted to be just like Iron Man because he believed that um, Tony Stark chose him to be the next Iron Man exactly who and what Iron Man was okay well I really like the conversation of happy and uh, Peter on the plane happy said that you don't need to be exactly like Iron Man he chose you because he saw potential in you and um, you are not identical you are two different persons and pretty much you're gonna have different decisions in this situation so you as Peter what are you going to do with such situation like this all right if you have a role model and you want to be exactly just like your role model well you can be like that you can be like this person but not exactly the same person because you have your own way of showing showcasing your talents and skills and strengths okay you know what just be yourself and um make the most out of it show your talent and um, don't be shy just be confident and uh, believe in yourself so that's the second the third is don't doubt yourself peter doubted himself that he cannot really do it that he cannot fight the opponent you know cannot fight the antagonist in the story because the antagonist was so strong that he was just a kid he was just you know a teenager and he cannot hold such responsibility but of course just like what i've mentioned in the first lesson you have the potential and people will never push you if they didn't see the potential in you so might as well don't doubt yourself that is not an option that is not a good option for you right and so you have to um take the risk right take the risk and see see if you can do it right there's nothing wrong with it right you have you got nothing to lose fourth is people's expectations always come from you of course because you set the bar high you need to be consistent with your actions and you need to keep on slaying you know um, don't pressure yourself just because you want to impress other people just do what you need to do do what you love to do with all your passion with all your heart right because in that way you will be consistent with your actions right okay because you did your best in the first place so the next time that you're gonna do it they will expect more okay fifth is not everyone's kindness is genuine some people are just kind to you because they need something from you and they badly want to get it right away so that is the main reason why they keep on giving you kind gestures and all of that they will get it as much as possible as early as possible so watch other people's actions and the sixth lesson rejection should not lead to a bad revenge because it won't do you any good revenge is like your heart is full of anger that you keep on doing or deciding bad decisions that won't do any good in the future and in that case you won't be able to pick the consequences because consequences you're not making it okay it's based on your action 
So always, always be mindful of your decisions and actions that you're gonna make because it will determine your future. You can only choose your decision but not your consequences. How are you going to handle rejection? You can cry, you can feel disappointed, but you have to face it with 100% optimism. Move forward, keep on improving, continue reaching your dreams. That's how you handle rejection. Number seven, sometimes the things that scare us um, aren't existing. It's like an illusion. So we can consider that our fear is like an illusion. And how are we going to handle our fear? You will face it. You will face our fears by taking risks and grabbing the opportunity. Because I do really believe opportunity knocks only once and you have to grab it it's now or never we have to face our fears get out of our comfort zone and um, take the challenge there's nothing wrong with it as long as it is for your own good it is for your improvement why not number eight is don't like or don't love the person because this person has a value like I like this person because he is pretty and that is valuable to me. Well, I like this person because this this person is so rich and he has a lot of money. He has a lot of properties and all of that. Don't do it, okay? Love the person simply because you've seen the desire of his heart. And that desire is the same as yours. Number nine is... Trusting a person requires a lot of time and effort, not just a huge, not just a huge kindness, okay? Because in the movie, Peter decided to trust Mysterio 100% simply because this person saved his life once. So... He trusted the person and gave the glasses, the valuable glasses to Mysterio. And with that, Mysterio was able to get the power that he wants from Peter. Um, never ever trust the person simply because he or she gave you a huge favor. You test the person first. A lot of times. Even if it takes... A year or years know the know the intention of the person first and number 10 number 10 last but not least and the most important part is if you really prioritize the welfare of other people or if you really um, magnify your calling eventually the things that you want in life will unexpectedly come just like Peter and um, the love of his life, MJ. MJ admitted her feelings to Peter unexpectedly. Well, because Peter was able to do his part as a hero, you know, and with all his heart, he really wants to help uh, Fury and he really wants to save the people and in his friends so that is a genuine um, act of kindness and um, that is a genuine act of kindness for the welfare of other people so those are the 10 lessons that I really learned from the movie and I hope you like my reflection and uh, click thumbs up if you have the same learning and if you have other learnings from the video you can comment below i am encouraging you to watch the movie spider-man far from home because you will learn a lot of things just like me but of course if we are running out of money well you can you can wait for the clear copy or the best copy on the internet i always do that if i don't have money uh, I will patiently wait for the copy 10, 1080p uh, Blu-ray copy in 
Yifi or YTS or Kickass. Yeah, those are the websites uh, that I use to download clear copies of new movies, and uh, you can do it as well. But it's just our secret, okay? So, oh, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Keep on watching, and please don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. And shout out to my students in Paranaque National High School, most especially to Natasha. Don't be sad. So here I am. I'm giving a kind gesture here because I know I owe you one. So Natasha, cheer up and uh, stay in school. Uh, study hard and do your best, okay? Mga ka orange, maraming salamat sa panonood ng aking YouTube video and sana huwag kayong magsawa and uh, please do support me sa YouTube channel kong ito. Maraming salamat and have a good night everyone and I'll see you guys on my next video. Stay tuned.